Bad habits we start is about the things we allow our dogs to do without realizing the consequences of our actions. These include behaviors such as puppies mouthing us, such as dogs that are jumping up against us, such as dogs sleeping in our beds, and of course, feeding dogs people food. What makes it complicated is that not all situations are the same. Not all home environments are the same, and of course, not all dogs or breeds are the same. What may be acceptable for one family is not okay for another. Bad habits start off as relatively insignificant and later become problems. Sometimes age is the cause. Dogs younger than about four months of age are so cute that everything they do is funny. When they hit that six to nine month age, then some of these things become issues while others are, well, they're just more tolerable. And when puppies hit one year of age, then their habits take on a new meaning. A mouthing puppy is now biting. A growl has become a snarl. And a chewing puppy has become destructive. Hit 18 months to two years of age, when that teen has become a young adult, we have a far more serious problem. The vast majority of calls that we get or evaluations that we conduct on dogs are done when they reach their adulthood. Now that situation has reached crisis proportions. Now it has become a lot more difficult to remedy the problems. So the time to work on these issues is when your puppy is young. Don't let these bad habits start. In other words, prevent them before they become an issue. Even if you have adopted an older dog, start right now. Now is the time to prevent those habits from becoming worse. There are three reasons. First, the main reason we discourage certain behaviors is that they escalate into dominance, disrespect, or territorial issues. A dog that is allowed to sleep on the bed may escalate into territorial behavior over that same bed. Secondly, once certain behaviors are allowed, they often trigger other behaviors. A dog that has been allowed to take food from a child may escalate into snapping at that same child. And finally, Humans and animals are different. Regardless of how much we humanize our beloved pets, there are still animals that still display animal behavior. So while it is perfectly acceptable for an animal in the wild to resource guard food, it's just not acceptable for that same domesticated dog to do the same in our home environment. Sorry kids, this is just one of those things where you have to be the adult. I know it's cute and lovable, but it's just not a good idea in general. When dogs are allowed to sleep in our space, it's the same as telling them they're equal to you. Your bed is one of your most personal spaces, and by allowing your dog into that space, you're giving them authority over you. Just as kids shouldn't sleep with their parents, so also your dog shouldn't sleep with children or sleep in your bed. They need their own space, their den if you will, where they can sleep and relax on their own. It should be noted that not all dogs will become dominant when being allowed to be in your bed. There are some that do understand the meaning of personal space or that don't challenge that space. So there are exceptions to this rule. What should you do if your dog is climbing onto your bed? Well, gently nudge them off the bed and if necessary, seek further help. We do have a video specifically on territorial behavior in dogs that you need to look at if you're having issues in this area. Just as a dog climbing on your bed is not a good idea, so also a dog getting on the couch. While it's fun to crawl up next to your dog and watch that cute movie together, you're also instilling in your dog that it's okay to be at your level. Dogs that have a tendency towards territorial or dominant behavior should never be allowed 
to be at the same level as you. We consider that to be a position of elevation. If you are determined to let your dog up, as long as they're the more laid back variety with no dominant behaviors, it should be okay. Again, check out our video on teaching your dog to get on the bed or the couch before allowing your dog to do so. Mouthing has its origins in the puppy experimenting with its brothers and sisters while in the litter. They use it to establish turf, to control food, gain territory over each other, warn the others, and yes, they use it in the course of play. When you get that new puppy, they continue the game, nipping at your hands, mouthing at your fingers. They're learning how much they will be able to control you. So get that habit under control. Chewing is so cute when puppies do it, especially when they're chewing on that old pair of shoes. But when they destroy that new pair of Nikes or that wonderful sofa that you just bought, then the humor is just not there. This is one of the biggest habits we allow our puppies to start from the start and pay the price later. Now's the time to stop it. Dogs jump up for a number of reasons. Primarily, it's a form of greeting which starts as a puppy when they jump up on mom as if to say hi or to beg for a drink or just to get her attention. This habit is established further when they start socializing with the other puppies in the litter, normally around four to six weeks of age. They progress to a territorial or dominance-based behavior at this time. When older puppies and adults jump on people, it has generally become more of a dominant controlling behavior. Dogs use it to intimidate or control members of their pack, which may include your family. Obviously, puppy, puppy, puppy. this does not apply to all situations, and there are cases where dogs jump up on you where it is okay. Again, it's one of the situations where you want to have a command to teach your dog what is and is not allowed. The last bad habit we need to look at is of course the most famous one. Can I feed my dog table scraps? Sadly, the answer is no. This teaches a whole bunch of bad things. It teaches dogs to beg. It teaches them to man food from you. And most of all, it allows them to determine when they eat and when not. That should be your decision. Of course, it also leads to dogs stealing. So now is the time to get control of that dog. No table scraps. Remember, this video is not about preventing or controlling bad habits. For that, you need to look at the specific videos that apply to those subjects. It is about teaching you to prevent these things from happening in the beginning. I hope that you will have learned from this to avoid those bad habits that we establish. Look around you. Are you doing anything that may cause a problem later? Learn the good stuff. Teach your dog to appreciate the good things and to do the good behaviors that you're looking for. Teach them what's appropriate and avoid feeling bad for them. When they look at you and beg, just look away. <laughs>